Okay, the lighting's not great here, but I'm just leaving. I am going to pick up my sisters and we are going to Belfast. I'll chat to you more in the car about where we're going and everything, but I just thought I'd check in now. I just finished my makeup. I really like it. We're going festive with the Christmas vibes, but I'm so excited. You all know I'm obsessed with this time of year and it just makes me so happy. Forgot to put mascara on my bottom lashes, just on that. Um, my skin is breaking out so bad, but we pulled through with the makeup. I feel like I love my makeup tonight, so let's go. Guys, I just got into the car and it is absolutely lashing. There's probably lipstick in my teeth. Uh, no one has Alana, you get the tickets. Where are they? They're in, they're in the bag. So are we all ready? <laughs> okay, so we are on our way. We're going to Botanic Gardens for a little Christmas spectacular. We got the Christmas tunes going and we're ready to rock. How does it feel to be back in Queens? Amazing. <laughs> oh, I can see the lights. Wait, I wonder, can you enter? You probably can't enter no, that way. No. Wait, the tickets. Oh, Alana, oh my God. Alana, are you? I'll show you all over you, bitch. That's me all over. Alana, give us a tour of where you... Where I studied? Yes. The Mads Academy. Oh, this is Alana's Mads Academy. Queens is such a vibe. So. We're almost there. I'm excited. It looks magical. This is why I needed a hat, but we couldn't find it in the car. So I had to go like this and my hair is a frizz bomb. But that was so nice and really, really lovely for children. Like if you want to take your children to like something really magical, that is definitely such a lovely thing to do. What did you think, Shawnee? Why does Queens literally look like Hogwarts and I'm living for it? So, so pretty. Yum, veggie burger, so, so good. And Cajun fries, literally the size of them. Guys, this is just the best day ever. Just looking into Hobbycraft for a little merch around. Everyone is loving <laughs> hobby craft. Hobby craft, getting creative together. I'm interested in doing anything. I know. It's so scary. It's, it's, like, it's overwhelming for your brain. Gingerbread house baking kits. We should get them. Oh, we should do that and do that. That would be so fun to make, wouldn't it? Yeah. Be? I bet I want to keep changing my back. I know. No. Look how gorgeous these are. These beautiful reeds. So it's now the next day. I'm about to do my makeup and um, get myself all glam. I'm then going to decorate the house for Christmas which I'm so excited for. So I wanna get this makeup done so I can like get stuck into the Christmas decor. I need to put up one of my trees still and um, I need to decorate the trees and everything and I am so excited. I just popped on these little nails and I think they're really, really nice. 
They're these kiss nails and I just think they're gorgeous and so Christmassy. I love them. Um, I also just put on tan, which is why my hands are super dark, but I really, really love that tan. I didn't put any on my face because I am um, breaking out, as you can see. So yeah, my sister's got me like a hamper full of stuff for my birthday and they included this. My sister Claire actually sells these in her salon, but this is just such a good little Christmas set and look at the packaging. Bella Mianta is the elite of tan, like I just absolutely love it. So yeah, I applied just a light layer of that. My neck is quite harsh because my face is breaking out so bad, so I just said I'm not putting any on my face. I just put a little bit of this liquid illuminator from Inglot X Mora, the Elements Collection. I love it. Just gives a lovely glow to your skin. So I'm gonna get stuck into my makeup and I'll check back in in a sec. So I just finished my makeup. Remind me never to do liquid liner because no matter how many times I do it, I keep going thicker and thicker and it closes my eyes in. Like I don't suit liner, so I need to stop doing that. Sometimes I think studio lighting is just too much and it like takes away from your makeup. Whenever I go into other rooms, I find my makeup looks nicer. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But yeah, I just finished up all my makeup and took some TikToks and stuff and I'm gonna clean up and stuff and I'm gonna edit some of the videos that I took and then I'm gonna decorate. So yeah, I'll check back in with you when we are ready to decorate the trees. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I just went to the shower, washed my hair, I just put on a face mask. My skin has just been feeling so irritated so even having makeup on I just was like no. I need it all off. I need to feel like super clean. So I feel so nice. And I just got this cute little night robe from TK Maxx the other day. It's so Christmassy. And I'm just so excited. Okay, so I wanted to be all glam to do my tree, but that's not happening. Um, and I actually prefer, like I just feel so nice and cozy right now. I have the candles lit. I have, this is my favorite candle in the world. Like there's nothing better. I could have this lit all year round. Sparkling Cinnamon by Yankee Candle. I have Winter Spice in the sink. This is another fave, like, oh my God. I just love cinnamony smells at Christmas time. It just makes me so happy. So yeah, I've popped up both trees and now it's time to put the lights on and get decorating. I wanna show you some of the bits that I've got now this year. I haven't got much yet, but we'll have a little look at what I got so far. So I haven't bought much yet this year for Christmas because I really went all out last year. I got like everything last year because it was my first time in this house. So I had to get like my trees, I got all my decorations and I overdone it with the decorations for the trees. I'll show you in a sec some of the Christmas decor I got the other day in the range and in CFC interior in Cookstown. But I got some cute little bits in Asda. I also got some cute little, this is like mugs and stuff, but I got some in B&M also and I got these in like October. So she's been ready for Christmas for a while now. So here are the little bits that I got in Asda. I am literally obsessed. How adorable are these? Like, is that not the cutest little mug? So we have the reindeer, we have Santa, which is so, so cute too. This one I love as well, little penguin. And then we have this. I'd seen a few people with this cup and I always wondered where it was from and it's from Asda and it is so cute. I can't remember how much these were. I think they might've been like three pound, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I just love. And last but not least, oh my God, how adorable is this? So this is just like a little plate. Oh my God, I just love it. So this kind of goes with this little mug. So adorable. So yeah, I love these. This actually came in like a teapot as well. It was kind of big. I might get it. I'm gonna see like what the kitchen looks like when everything's put out, but um, I didn't know if it would go with my kitchen. That's why I didn't get it. My nails are so cute. Honestly, I'm like, oh my God, how Christmassy is this vibe right now? My little robe, my nails. The little plate. Then we have these. These are from B&M Bargains and these are so adorable. So both of them have like a little cookie holder and then 
cute little mug. This little Santa is so, so cute. Then I've been saving this from last year because my sister Alana got me this and she gave it to me on Christmas Eve. And I said, like, after Christmas, I can't, like, use this throughout the year. It has to be stored away to next Christmas. So, oh my God, how adorable. So, yeah, I'm stocked up on all the little mugs. I've got three Santa mugs now. But, yeah, I'm so happy with all my little bits. It looks so cute and cozy. I love the color of these lights. They're like a beautiful warm color. Oh my God, I love it. This is the type of tree that you literally don't even need decorations for. It's just so pretty on its own with lights. I also got my tree, I don't know what you call this, <laughs> but the thing that covers the bottom of the tree, I got mine in B&M Bargains. I think it was like 18 pound, which is really good. And it's really nice. So I've laid out all of my decor from last year, all of my baubles and stuff. So I've lots here that I'm excited to put on my trees. These are so cute. All of this is from the range, like every single bauble. I think the range is like the best for really luxurious looking Christmas decor, but affordable. Like these were all around like 150 and stuff each, which I think is really good. And then you can get your sets and everything just to fill up the tree. So then I have all of these little wooden bits for around the kitchen, just to make it nice and cozy. These are all from the range as well. So is this little garland. I got two of these little trees in Asda, which I thought were really cute. Candy canes. This is a star for the top of my tree. And then these are the only things I got this year to add to the tree, but I might get some more but I was in one of the Christmas shops and I just was looking at all the trees and I I wouldn't be one to put flowery things into my trees I like them a bit more traditional but I just wanted to experiment I feel like you can make a tree look literally so stunning with these like flowers going through them so I just got like lots of different ones so I got these little ones, silver and gold, and these were in the range, and these just have a little clip that you clip into the tree, so really handy. Then this is also from the range. So pretty, it's like a champagne -y gold. So I wanna kinda make this tree in my living room a bit more bougie, and then the tree in my kitchen can be like more farmhouse vibes. And then this is just stunning. So I got this in CFC Interiors in Cookstown. So I got, I think, I got a few. I don't know how many I got, but oh my God, so gorgeous. So I'm really excited to pop these on the tree. I think I'll put these in first because then I'll know where I want to place them and then work everything else around them. And then I need to go through this decor so that I can actually figure out what I want to put in the living room to make it like a bit more bougie. The likes of this can go into the living room and these can stay in the kitchen because these are a bit more like farmhouse vibes. I still want my kitchen one to be glam but not as glam as the one in the living room. So let's get started. <laughs> Just popped the kitchen tree up and it's looking cute. I need to put the star on the top. That's why the branches are like that. I have lots more baubles that I want to put in the living room tree. So I wanted to put the ones in the kitchen tree up so that I know what's gonna go in this tree and then what I can use for the rest of the other tree. But so cute. <laughs> Guys, 
Look at this. I've like really impressed myself here. I just can't get over how gorgeous this is. Those flowers really made such a lovely touch. Like I'm literally obsessed with this. Like I just, I'm obsessed with this. I just think the more the merrier and just like adding texture with all your baubles. Just really makes me feel so much happiness. I can't cope. Oh my God, let me turn off the lights. I wish that this done this tree justice, but it isn't doing it justice like this. Oh my God, it's so cozy. I got this little cushion. I want to get some more. My sisters actually got me this for my birthday. They asked me what I wanted and I basically said, just get me anything Christmassy so that I can add it to my collection. <laughs> I know, but yeah, so really cute little cushion. Need to add more to that, but oh my God. And I have the Santa Claus on. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with it. So I have this box of fake presents that I made last year and this is just like boxes that um, I like just random things like even Christmas decor and stuff that I just wrapped. So they're empty boxes and I just thought it was such a good idea. I didn't have a cover under my tree last year so I just used all of these to make it look like the tree was full underneath but I'm going to add them underneath now to this tree. I'm not going to put as many underneath, I just want to put like a few wee touches. Ah! I'm so excited! Why is this making me so happy? <laughs> Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. I love having like little presents under the tree as decor. And then I'll properly put actual presents under the tree. But I just think this is nice for show. I just added this little gift bag as well. How cute. So I got this little tray in TK Maxx the other day and then I picked up this cute little candle from the range. And then I got this little tree from the range also. I'm gonna take off the wrapper and pop it on there and then I also got I got this cute little light up tree as well in the range so really adorable loving this love it I just got a Domino's a garlic bread a pizza yum I just done this little setup which I think is super cute and then I just placed some of my little cups here and then Rudolph is above on the coffee machine. I've just set out a few wee things but nothing's really like in its place right now but I just set this little plate here. I put some candy canes into a jar. Both of these are from the range. This is so cute. Then I have this cute little sign also from the range that lights up. I'm thinking should I stick it up? above my cooker. I think it'd be really cute, but that's where it is right now. Then I have another little Christmas tree here that I got from home base. I love the little base of it. I have a little reindeer, my, my little Penny Thoughts calendar, and then a cute little Christmas tree. I just topped up the sink with winter spice. Look at these. My best friend Sinead got me these. So they're like a beautiful wine glass with a gold rim and they're so pretty and she also got me these. I'm obsessed. It's so funny that everyone gets me Christmas things on my birthday. Like my birthday's in September but everyone knows that I'm I'm prepped and ready at that time for Christmas so love it. I got these little baubles last year from a brand based in Enniskillen actually. I'll put their website on the description box below. Um, they also give me a little stocking as well, so I'll show you in a sec. So this is the lovely big stocking that they gave me as well. Really love it. I love red at Christmas. I love like touches of red. <laughs> I don't think 
I showed you the kitchen tree finished. So this is it in daylight and oh my god, it's so cute. For anyone wondering, I got both my trees from the Christmas shop in Kaliland. So they're like a beautiful frosted and I just adore them. Like I love frosted trees. I think they're so, so pretty. And my sisters got me this. How cute. So you can put the music on. So adorable. So cute. I love these. Like I want to start collecting them. And then like having like a little collection of them every year. Just back from Lidl, I just got loads of fruit and um, like just healthy bits. Um, I also got this. So these are just for the top of like cupcakes and stuff, but I thought they'd be cute as like a decoration for the top of a hot chocolate. I like to have these just to pick up and take with you. So I just got like a pile of little um, pots of fruit. So yeah, I love olives and I love feta. So I just got this cucumber. I'll have that with my everything but the bagel seasoning and my peppers as well, or maybe some hummus. Also went to Sainsbury's and just picked up some things as well, just for like dinner and stuff. Coming into the colder months, I like to make like soup and stew and stuff. Um, well, it's like my version of a stew, it's a vegetarian stew. So I use these sausages, I put some baby potatoes in, um, and then kind of make like a soup mix almost, like celery, chopped up carrots, onions, and then like vegetable stock and everything. But I'll show you at some point how I make it. It's so delicious. Like for a vegetarian it's such a nice like savory meal then i also got some coke zeros i love having coke zero with my dinner like i love to have like a meal and have a nice coke zero i got these i've been looking at these in sainsbury's and i just said you know what i'm gonna try these they look a bit like the beanie burger from nando's so i'd love to try them and maybe like put nando sauce and everything and kind of make my version Hopefully they do taste like them because that would be a game changer for me. I've like not found a nice burger that I like would pick up all the time. I used to have the jalapeno griller patty from Tesco's but they don't do it anymore for some reason. And then I got Thai green curry. Uh, this is just like a made up one uh, that you just pop in the pan with all your veg. And I like having it with broccoli and cauliflower, peas, um, chilies. And then my corn chicken pieces, these are so, so good. I've just got onto these recently and they're my favorite vegetarian kind of replacement for meat. And I kind of was put off them because I was like, oh, what's the texture going to be? But the texture is so, so nice. I'm really weird with textures. Like the likes of tofu, I just can't warm to. Like it just turns my stomach. Um, then I got some lemons, some more oat milk. I got the tropical twist smoothie mix. This I put into my um, stew and then I got these just as a snack. So yeah. Oh, I also got these as a snack too. I just thought these might be nice. They're like dried up mango. So yeah. So I just sat down and played with makeup and I just created this look and I love it. I think it's so cute. Super Christmassy pop up color. Yeah, I love it. I'm trying to get you better lighting because I'm in my little closet room, but I love it. It's like kind of New Year's Eve vibes. My mirror is probably really dirty, but I just wanted to show you it. Oh my goodness, it's so nice in this light. I love it. So I want to show you the products that I used on my eyes. I started off with blank canvas just to carve out my brows and then went in with the basic brights. This one's the shade Bang & Blue and I applied that all over my lid just to give a real nice solid colour. And then I used the Made by Mitchell palette, the blue shadows from it. And then I went in with this stunning pigment from Be Perfect. These are the trance pigments and this one's in the shade Raindrops. I've been using these a lot recently. They're just so light but have a beautiful glitter, so they're really easy to use. Then lastly, I went in with the Glamour Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow by Be Perfect. This is in the shade Iced Castle, and this is what gave me that like fluorescent blue um, iridescent kind of tone on my lid, and I just love it. And then for my lashes, I just took a pair from this pack of three. 
So this is the Premium Foam Ink 3D Lashes by Baby Doll Lashes. And these are only £10, which is amazing. These are so, so nice and really comfortable. So yeah, I just thought I'd check in before I finish off with the video and show you my makeup. So I hope you enjoyed this little Christmassy vlog. There is for sure a lot more to come and I'm so excited. So I will see you in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.